Oh, I forgot. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew the Elder Goss was on the bridge and it's randomized. It's a scent scorch. <laughs> it's literally just a helicopter propeller. Like a butterfly in the sky. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? It's Inferno Man again, and welcome back to the Pokemon Shield Hardcore Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you guys missed in the last episode, we did a lot of things in a small part of the game. I'm kind of surprised it took us 30 minutes, but I mean, at the same time, it was a lot for the way this series has been going. But uh, we got our encounter on Route 5, we battled some Team Skull Grunts. Team Skull, this isn't Sun and Moon. Battled some Team Yell Grunts uh, to get our bike, and we had a very intense battle with Hop. So if you want to see how all of that went down and more, uh, make sure to pause this video, open up another tab, watch the last episode, and then come back to this one, or, you know, watch the last episode after this one, which would be kind of weird, but whatever. Um, our plan for today is to go to Holdbury, most likely battle Nessa in her gym. Um, so lots of crazy shenanigans going on in this episode, but um, if you guys are excited, make sure to slap the like button, subscribe, and bring it to the channel, ring the notification bell so you get notified about future episodes of this series and other videos and streams on my channel. Uh, also, make sure to check out all the links in my description, including Discord, that one's very important, uh, my Discord server, The Omen, and uh, Twitter. If you have Twitter, make sure to follow me over there, and uh, anything else that perks your interest, check it out. Um, but also make sure to answer the question down below, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So, uh, last episode I said I was going to figure out who I wanted to keep on the team and who I didn't, and uh, I think this is the team I'm going to be going with. We got Cole, Arthur... Demogorgon, Alex, Luki, and Tara. So, uh, that means, uh, you know, Bapple. Bapple's good because it's a gigantic X Pokemon, but it has True on. And that really throws me off, so I don't want to have it on the team. So, I took it off the team. Um, if I ever have the ability to make an ability capsule or anything like that in the near future, I will definitely give it to Bapple and see what it has. Hopefully, it's way better than True on. I mean, it's not hard to beat True on. Um, and while I would love to have Beetle on the team, I did remember we already have a fighting type in Alex. Um, so, <laughs> I don't need another fighting type uh, really right now. So, uh, yeah, so that's our team. Those six Pokemon. Um, I'm going to have to bench one of them because we got to go through Nessa's gym. And Nessa's highest Pokemon is 24, so going higher than that would be a no bueno. Um, but, yeah, uh, as you can see, I'm in a different setting. Um, I was going to be coming back home for Christmas break anyways, but um, as I mentioned before, I am no longer going to be in college, at least for the, the meantime. I won't be in college for a little bit, um, so I am back at home uh, trying to advance my YouTube career and uh, hopefully get a... I, I'm sure I can get a job here, work on the side, but um, yeah, not to dabble into my life a little bit too much there, but you know, that's why the setting is different. Um, but we're going to try to figure out the background so I can have some lights and stuff back there. So this is how it is for now. Uh, but you know, I've been doing intros for three minutes now, so let's move forward. All right. Oh, I forgot. Oh my God. <laughs> I knew the Elder Goss was on the bridge and it's randomized. It's a scent to scorch. Oh my God. <laughs> it's literally just a... Helicane propeller, uh, helicane? Helicopter propeller. Move again, move again, I want to see you move again. Come on, send a scorch, do it again. Here, I'll move, I'll move, yeah, see, it's gonna go away. <laughs> and we're gonna move back. Where is it? There it is. Like a butterfly in the sky. <laughs> it's so dumb, but I love it. Alright, we're gonna avoid battling her, obviously. And this lady, please don't look at me. Bye. No. No. Oh my gosh. Now Frostlass is going to level up and we're not going to be able to use her in the gym. Oh no. Of course you have a Blastoise. Why would you have anything less than a fully evolved Pokemon? There's no way. There's no way nobody levels up. And Cole is at like really low health right now, so I need to switch out. Um, I mean, I guess I could use Alex. But we're gonna get level ups from this. That sucks. I should have put everybody in the PC. I mean, I didn't really expect us to run into a trainer like this, so I guess I'm not completely in the wrong. Uh, I'll power up punch it. Um, but I'm fairly certain we don't battle anyone before Ness's gym, so that's why I wasn't like preparing for anything like 
you know, making sure our team wasn't completely, like, up to level. So we couldn't use them when we actually went to the gym. But everything should be fine. Um, I just didn't completely... Ex I, ex I didn't expect to be there to be a trainer that was going to be hard to dodge for us. That had a fully evolved starter Pokemon. Which means experience galore. <laughs> so, take that, I guess. Goodbye, Blastoise. Oh, Tara didn't level up, but everybody's... Everybody's at 24 at the top half of the party. No common mind. Alright. I mean, if we have to go through the beginning part of the gym, if there's trainers that we have to battle, and I can only use Cole and, and Mew for other Pokemon in our party, I mean... Again. <laughs> we can have, like, these Pokemon on our party, but, like, if... If we battle um, those trainers with Pokemon that are higher than Ness's Pokemon, again, they're not important trainers, so I can battle the trainers inside the gym with Pokemon that'll be overleveled for Nessa. I just don't want to have Pokemon <laughs> that are going to be important in battle against Nessa that can't battle Nessa, you know what I'm saying? I wanted this to be the first gym where we go in with a full team. And I know that there we have to go um, and have a meal with Chairman Rose, but... I'm fairly certain you don't battle anybody, because there's only one battle with Oleana, if I recall correctly. And it's in the battle tower. You definitely don't battle Bead here. And no way in heck you battle Chairman Rose, so... <laughs> Unless Team Yell comes out of nowhere, like a shout in the wind, I don't think we battle anybody before the gym. But there we go, the team's healed. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Okay, so he's got the same stuff as last time. I thought maybe it would re-randomize like it did before, but I was wrong. That's it. So I thought that it re-randomized it every time that I loaded into the game, but I did explain in the last episode that every time that we add a new item, like the Great Balls were added to the shop after we beat Milo, uh, that's why the shop re-randomized. So that's why it's different now. So... Whenever we unlock another item in the item shop, that's when it'll re-randomize. Or, if my theory is correct, it'll re-randomize. But yeah, this is just going to be a lot of dialogue for us to tap through, because Oleon is going to make us come to the restaurant. Boring stuff. But I do love Oleon's theme. Um, if you guys come out to my streams, you know that there's a remix on my playlist of it. I believe Glitch made it, Glitch X City. Um, all of her music's great, so no doubt, but um, Oleana's theme is pretty good. Underrated, if I might say so. Okay, she says, do not keep the chairman waiting. I will not. Oh, okay. I'm remembering things wrong. We were supposed to beat Nessa first. Okay, so we don't have the meal. I think the, I think the chairman's uh, instructions were quite clear. I can see it now. This is why you don't skip dialogue. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I can figure it out. <laughs> I can figure it out. Leave me alone. Uh, but we do get an encounter. I'm going to keep our Pokemon off the team that are already level 24 while we do this. But we do get an encounter here. A fishing encounter. So I'll go ahead and grab that. Take these off the team. And I'm going to throw a Heracross on the team because, you know, getting levels for it for whenever we're going to use it, most likely. Not a bad idea. But we're going to go fishing. I don't remember how many Pokeballs I have left. Hopefully plenty. Give me something good. Okay, that's that's Dreadnought. Another water type, another rock type, but not bad. Um, I'm gonna have to switch up for sure, and it's level 24 right off the bat, so. Um, I'm gonna reflect type so Luki resists everything. Okay, it's using Protect. Uh, I'm going to use Reflect type, so if he uses any Water or Rock type moves, we should be fine. For the most part. I mean, especially if it uses a Rock type move. If he uses Water, it'll be neutral, but... Um, I don't think I necessarily need to attack it yet. I'll throw a Net Ball, because it is a Water type that we just fished up. Okay, it didn't even roll a second time. Oh, it's using Bite. Good thing I used Reflect type. <laughs> That still did a lot of damage. Wait a minute. Did it... Am I wrong about Reflect type and it just added water and kept Psychic? 
That's a bro moment. Okay. I'm gonna throw one more ball at it and then run away, because I mean it's not really like completely worth it to me. We get water types all the time. Yeah, okay, I'm running away. Okay, it's using protect, that's fine. Like if we got anything else it'd be fine, but I'm pretty sure you can usually find Choodle here, and even still, if you can't find Choodle. This is around the part of the game where you can find Choodle and possibly Wild Dreadnought at that, so. And we just picked up five more netballs, cool. More Pokeballs. With the fact that we can't buy any Pokeballs right now, free Pokeballs are always appreciated. Nothing's biting? Well, too bad. <laughs> I'm being so mean and for what? Um, okay, so we'll go back to the Pokemon Center heal, and uh, I don't think you can add Pokemon to your team while you're in the gym. So, um, I'm, I'm going to go through the gym now. I don't know, this is a little risky. This is a little risky. I'm going to put the Pokemon on my team as we go into the gym, and if there's trainers that we have to fight, like, there's no way we can move through the gym if we don't fight them. Um, I'm going to leave the gym and then come back with them off the team. Because it's not something I want to risk, you know? Because if we fight any trainers, there's going to be... There's definitely going to be Pokemon that are going to level up past 25, so... We're... I mean, 24, not 25. You know, 25 is funnier than 24, but it's not related in this sense. And we're not supposed to go to the gym yet because Nessa is by the lighthouse. Almost forgot that. Alright. What's this? It's two soup potions. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to put citrus berries on all my Pokemon, but how many do I have left? Only two. Okay. I'll give one to Cole, and I'll give one to Arthur, I guess. I guess since those are my two non-fully evolved Pokemon, I guess, you know, giving them berries is not a bad idea. Here she is. What's up, Nessa? All right, Josh. I'm sure you're going to be watching the series when you have more time, because uh, you're busy with college right now. So when you get to this episode, here's your waifu. It's very excited right now, I can tell. Alright, there we go. Gotta love those Toxtricity stat statues. I remember that they showed those in the trailer for the first time before Toxtricity was revealed, and people were like, Whoa, are those new legendary Pokemon? No, they, they're not legendary Pokemon, spoiler alert. But they're pretty cool Pokemon. <laughs> Alright. Time to head into the gym. What's up, bald guy? And he's going to give us a lure ball. I forgot to take the Pokeball from him in the first gym. Uh, but I think he gives you... Um, he gives you some type of Johto ball, obviously. Let's do it. Let's do it, friends. Let's see what's going on. Did she just say that we can't use the box link? I think that's what she said. Like, like I said, I already I already mentioned that, so it's not a surprise to me. But I'm going to double check. Because if we can exchange it like in the middle of the gym, that would be fantastic. But I know that we can't. Ah, uh, beautiful water coming out of the spouts. <laughs> the, like I said before, I believe I mentioned this in the first gym. They did gym so well in this game, like they're... Obviously, because they're on the Switch, like, the graphics look gorgeous, but I love the, the way they set up the challenges. Okay, and with literally the first trainer, I can see that we cannot <laughs> go through this without battling somebody, so... Um, I am going to leave, and when I come back, uh, you guys will see me back here uh, with different Pokemon on my team. Alright guys, so I completely didn't know this, but... Um, because I never really tried it, but if you clear the gym mission and end up right where we are right now and then back out and leave, you don't have to do the gym mission again when you go back in. You just head over here, so... Um, I, I know I said I was going to put everybody back uh, that I didn't need, but I'm keeping Sea Queen on the team so we can actually have a full team of six um, since Cole is not currently on the team, so... We got a full team of level 24s. Um, I think the strongest Pokemon to start us off with is probably Alex, so I'm going to put him in the front, but team's looking pretty good, guys. We don't have Cole, who's actually on our team, but we got Sequin, who has better water type moves than Demogorgon, so we're good. So let's head forward. Kind of nervous, but less nervous than we were than I was when we battled Milo, so. 
Let's see what Nessa's got for her six Pokemon this time around. I'm just glad there's no level curve anymore so I could actually, you know, prepare for level 24. Alright, there she is in all of her glory. What's up, Nessa? Um, yeah, I, I was... I was gonna, like, worry about, like, getting new clothes and stuff like that like I did in the last run, but... I mean, the, we got the Isle of Armor outfit this time, and I think that it looks okay. I really like the Isle of Armor outfit, so... We're just gonna keep that for now, because I... I usually like the hairstyle with the hair in the bun anyway, so... Alright, Gym Leader Nessa sending out Altaria. Okay, so... Maybe putting Lucario out first wasn't the greatest idea, but how was I gonna predict that, right? Alright... Yep. Alright, it's level 22. It's Flying Dragon. So, I guess Demogorgon's the best option here. Um, if this is, like, the way the game was before, and her first Pokemon she brought us Altaria, it might have Water-type moves. Alright, so let's see what it uses here. Okay, it's using Agility. That's probably something that Altaria can normally use, so that doesn't tell us anything. Um, so, you know, it's fine. Um, we're just gonna use, uh, Icy Wind because it's four times super effective. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, it most likely does not have horn attacks, so. <laughs> well, that's okay, that's okay. We almost one-shotted it, but this probably means that she's gonna use a potion, which is good for us. Okay, she doesn't use a potion. She does not use a potion, that is fine. That is a-okay. Take this icy one to the face, your Altaria is down. One down, five to go. Who do you got for us next, Nessa? Alright, got a couple level ups in the bag. Icy Wind. Um. I mean, we have Powder Stone, Icy Wind on Demogorgon. I think I like the priorities, so I'm gonna get rid of Powder Snow. I like Ice Shard because that has priority, so. We'll keep that one. Alright. Celesteela, of course you have an Ultra Beast. Why wouldn't you? Especially when I don't have a Fire type on my team anymore. Celesteela is not an easy Pokemon to take care of, guys. But, water resist steel. Um, so this would be neutral? I don't know. It's a lot to consider, because I could just switch to Alex and, like, you know, use Power Up Punch, but that's still not going to do too much. I'll switch out to Alex for now. If he uses something strong, then I'm going to switch out. Um, but, <laughs> definitely wasn't prepared for a cell of Stila. I will say that for the least. I will say that, at, uh, to the least. However that phrase goes. Um, I'm gonna make sure real quick that, uh, her team actually is 24 real quick. Because I swear to you, when I read her thing, it was 24. Nessa... No, not her, her sync pair from Masters, man. I need her team. And the core series... Oh, she has three Pokemon. She has Golden Aracuda and Dredna. Okay, so the 23 is just throwing me off because I thought she had two Pokemon. Okay, we're good. So I guess I'll use Power Up Punch. I mean, what else can I do? I'm glad that this move raises attack because... Okay, it's using Harden. Good play, I guess. Good play, I guess. I don't think it's gonna spam Harden. We just gotta keep on using Power Up Punch. Okay, now it's using Mega Drain. <laughs> but that's not do it's not draining too much from us, so. Take your five HP, I guess. As long as you're not spamming um defensive moves, I'm good. Okay, again with the Mega Drain. We're fine, we're fine. Celesteela should be scary, but I mean, I don't think that the Pokemon she uses normally have Mega Drain. I wouldn't expect an Aracuda to have Mega Drain, but if it does, so be it. <laughs> um, I wouldn't expect Celesteela to have Mega Drain either, but you can never expect anything with this randomizer anymore. I, I really just picked that up at this point. I don't know what's going on in this randomizer anymore. I can't try to predict it or pick up what's going on. I just gotta deal with whatever's happening. 
everything is completely unpredictable yet predictable at the same time. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> so don't worry about me, I guess. I'll just keep on punching a giant Ultra Beast. Alright, there it goes. That's going to be tons of experience for us. That's a legendary Pokemon, guys. Alright, Celesteela down. Well, oh, was that two level ups? Jeez. Aqua Ring? Nah. I mean, I'm not really using Sea Queen. I say that and I've used Sea Queen for the last three episodes. <laughs> Matang. Another Steel type. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's still, it's still not Metagross. Uh, and fighting moves will still be neutral with it being psychic, so... I mean, I've got all these attack raises. What am I at? Plus four? I'm max attack, plus six. I'm at max attack right now. How much is this power book? Power up punch going to do? A lot. Almost knocking it out. Okay. See? I almost switched out and made a mistake. We're good. Keep on levitating. I don't give a crap. You're dead. You're done. You're done. Alright, Mateng's out of here. Slowpoke. Okay, we're definitely switching up for this one. Um, I guess we got Power Trip. It's probably going to be a Galarian Slowpoke, though, which means it's a pure Psychic type. So that's good. There's no problem with that, so... There's absolutely no problem with that. I'm probably going to use Tara, though. It's not really want to home claws and raise up its attack, so it uses power trip and actually like does something with it. Uh, but if it's a Cantonian Slowpoke, which it is, it's whatever. <laughs> doesn't matter either way. Even if it has the water type added on, doesn't bother me in the slightest. It's almost Dynamax time though, guys. Almost Dynamax time. Oh, we scared it. Alright, it's using Water Pulse. Not too shabby. Uh, we're almost getting to the gyms where uh, the, po the gym leaders have Gigantamax Pokemon, so I'm assuming that they get randomized to other Gigantamax Pokemon. Uh, that starts with Kabu, right? Yeah, because he's got a Gigantamax and a Scorch, so... That'll be for the next gym. I'll have to, you know, prepare for there being a Gigantamax Pokemon. If I pick up, like, if I just come across a... An ability capsule and can change uh, Baffle's ability. That'd be fantastic. So I could actually check into some extra Pokemon. But it's whatevs. Oh, please don't hate yourself. We got the Citrus Bearing effect. Eat that right up. Alright, do not hate yourself. This thing's almost dead. Don't hate yourself. Come on. Good job, Tara. Good job, Tara. Shout out to Tara and uh, the San Diego Sylveons. The draft for the EBL Season 3 starts this week. I'm very, very excited. Mewtwo! Okay. I see how it is. I definitely see how it is. But what I could do here... It can't get worse than Mewtwo, right? <laughs> I could try get... I mean, Dynamax here. No. Um, I'm going to stay in. Hit her with some Astonishes. This isn't the Pokemon she's going to Dynamax. She only does it on the last Pokemon. Their programs only do it on the last Pokemon. Oh, I forgot you're still confused. Don't hit yourself. Yes. Flinch would be great. A flinch would be great. Nope, it's using Bite. Oh, no. We have to switch out. Maybe I should have Dynamaxed. <laughs> We need to switch out ASAP. Okay. Does anybody else have anything super effective against Mewtwo? Okay, nope. It's just Arthur. I mean, if it's going to use Bite again... This is really risky. But if it doesn't have a Psychic-type move, because... If it doesn't have a Psychic-type move, I mean... Ah, I'm so nervous. Okay, it's using Bite. So good thing I didn't switch out, because I don't think Corviscar would have been able to take that very well. Metal Claw. Okay, it's faster than this. This looks like it has the Aracutus moveset. So we're fine for now. For the most part. 
Okay, I don't know if Ox is going to be able to take another hit. Um, this is a little tricky. I will admit, this is a little tricky. I'm going to switch out to Luki. Luki has the most uh, Whirlpool traps. Oh, crap. I'm going to detect. I never use this, but if it frees me from the Whirlpool, I'd appreciate that. It doesn't. Ah, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose Alex. No, please don't. Don't do this to me. I mean, the I could Dynamax here, but that might be a bad idea. Okay, Detector twice in a row. Please free me from the whirlpool. Please. Let me switch out. Oh. I can't use a potion. <laughs> okay. If, if, if I don't get freed, I'm dead. There goes Alex. Dang it. I didn't expect to lose a Pokemon again this soon, especially not Alex out of all Pokemon. I mean, if I used a potion, Alex was going to die anyway, because that would have been its third penalty, but that sucks. Oh. Well, Mew versus Mewtwo. That did a lot of damage. <laughs> this is so dumb. I wouldn't have expected her to have Celesteela and Mewtwo on her team. Ah, I forgot I had the Citrus Berry on this. Okay. Maybe Mew can take out Lucario. Especially if it just stops using Bite and we get a crit pound. Oh yeah, that's right, we have Harvest on Luki. That's so broken, I forgot about that. That's why I kept the berry on Luki. Because with Harvest, you can just keep on spawning berries on it. <laughs> Take that, Mewtwo. Ah, oh, we flinched, though. That's not good. Though we're faster this time. Okay. We got Harvest. We got Harvest! I love you, Luki, so much. <laughs> You're so broken. Okay. Yeah, if that was the crit, Luki would have been screwed. Which would have just been my luck, you know, saying how much I love it and then it would die. Oh, we got a crit on the last one. Alright, there goes Mewtwo. Alright, her last Pokemon. Please don't be a threat. Please don't be a threat. Please. I'm begging you. Tauros. Of course, Alex is dead, but hey, what can you do? Sea Queen's at full, so I guess that's gonna be our Dynamaxing Pokemon. I mean, if anything, if anything, I'm just wearing down her Dynamax, so it'd be nice if we're faster, but I don't think we're gonna kill it. Um, but we can do what we can. We can definitely do what we can. Because there's no way I'm not Dynamaxing. And it looks like... I mean, Max Geyser is stabbed, so... Let's just see how this goes. Is she Dynamaxing first? Yep, okay, so she's faster, but she's not going to kill me unless it has Max Overgrowth, because... I mean, this is randomized from her Dreadnought, I'm pretty sure, so... It should have Dreadnought's moveset. We'll just have to see what happens, guys. We'll have to see what happens. Alright. Obviously, this episode's going to be a little bit longer, because I wanted to have the whole battle, obviously. Um, so, I mean, hopefully it's not, like, too long, but it's probably going to be around 40 minutes. Maybe I'll cut out me doing the gym challenge. That probably will make sense. Um, because <laughs> nobody died during the gym challenge. I don't know. I always do this where I'm like, I'm predicting when I'm going to edit, and you guys don't want to hear that. Okay, it's using Max Geyser. That's obviously not going to do too much. Sorry for the lagging, by the way. Hopefully the game doesn't crash on me. Not while we're battling the last Pokemon on her team. Oh, and it just helped us, by the way. Our first Max Geyser is going to be more effective now because of the rain. Thanks for that, Tauros. Okay, it looks like it could be a three-shot kill. 
So maybe we do kill it while dynamaxed. Um, but except for now it's using max strike. Oh. Okay. And that's gonna lower our speed. Okay. So we're losing Sea Queen here. We're definitely losing Sea Queen here. Um, unless I switch out the Demogorgon and Demogorgon takes it. But it's probably gonna use Max Strike again. Which is definitely gonna kill Demogorgon. And I'd rather not kill Demogorgon. Wait. I cheesed it. I cheesed it. I used Max Guard. <laughs> I forgot that I had Supersonic. Forgot I had that. We don't lose Sea Queen. We're good. <laughs> so cheesy. So cheesy. Alright, it lowered our speed, so we're probably not faster. So I'm gonna hope that it doesn't kill me. Because whatever dark type move it used, it could use it again. I could switch out to Tara, and if it used a normal type move, it wouldn't affect her, and then I could use uh, Ice Shard. But I don't want to lose Tara, and Sea Queen's just to back up. So I'm going to risk and use Water Pulse. Okay, it's using Head, but... Yeah, there goes Sea Queen. So we did lose Sea Queen. Um, but I'm just going to switch out to Tara. Use a Priority Ice Shard, and... Uh, Hope it kills. It didn't kill. It wasn't even close. Oh my god. I'm playing stupid, guys. I'm playing stupid. This is my fault. This is my fault. Obviously, I'm not going to send Luki out. I'm not that stupid. Switch out to Demogorgon. That sucks. I didn't want to lose more than that. I just thought Tara's Aisha would kill, but... So dumb. Okay, Headbutt. Whatever. Icy Wind. I mean, at least we won, you know? At least we won, but we lost our two strongest Pokemon. I could slap Heracross on the team. I'm probably not going to add anything else because I don't see us using... I'm definitely not seeing us using Flapple just because our team's not full. And I don't see us... Uh, geez, 46 minutes. <laughs> That's what the recording says. Uh, I don't see us using Flapple and I don't... I mean, seeking a Sea Queen's gone. Um, but I mean, hey. You guys will see the new team in the next episode. Um, I'll just figure that out, you know, in between episodes. Thanks for the whirl whirlpool, I guess, lady. Um, but I mean, that's, that's, that's why we do it hardcore. I wouldn't be surprised if we have like 30 deaths by the end of this series, to be honest with you guys. So 12 right now is just the beginning. Anywho, <laughs> that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So if you did enjoy, make sure to slap the like button, subscribe and bring us to the channel once again. Uh, ring the notification bell so you get notified about future episodes of this series and other videos and streams on my channel. Uh, answer the question today down below. Check out all the links down in my description. Again, Discord, my Discord server is highly recommended to join uh, if you are not already in there. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So this is Infernament Burning Out, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.